Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you how to make this little inverter for fluorescent lamps. It is very simple, just a few components, a couple of resistors, a capacitor, transistor and this homemade transformer. This is the schematic. Here we can see the output transformer that raises the voltage. The primary has 48 turns and the secondary 500 turns. And we have another coil of 10 turns that is the feedback coil. I draw it here for clarity, but it is part of the same transformer. Here you can see this is the primary and this is the small feedback coil with 10 turns. Let's see how the circuit works. Initially, we have a current that flows through this resistor to the base of the transistor. So the transistor starts to turn on and a current can flow through the primary. This creates a magnetic field that starts to increase and in turn, it induces a voltage on the feedback coil. This voltage turns the transistor even more and reinforces the magnetic field that continues to increase. It is a positive feedback. This process continues until the transistor is fully on and the magnetic field is at its maximum, but it is not increasing anymore and a static magnetic field does not induce a current in the feedback coil. So, the voltage to the base is now of a less value and the transistor starts to turn off. The magnetic field starts to decrease and now induces a voltage on the feedback coil, but it is of opposite sign, so it starts to turn off the transistor and the process continues until the voltage is at its minimum. We have only the voltage through the resistor and the cycle starts again. And in this way, the circuit is oscillating at a high frequency and we have a varying magnetic field in the transformer. And this induces a much higher voltage on the 500 turn secondary, which is used to turn on the fluorescent lamp. You can use any high power NPN transistor and the two resistors are of one watt. The circuit works with 12 volts DC. Now we will see how to build the transformer. We need a ferrite core for it. The ferrite core can be obtained from an old AM radio. It is this part that forms the antenna. On the ferrite core, wind 500 tons with magnet wire size 32 AWG. These 500 tons will be the secondary of our transformer. I have finished the first layer, it has 140 turns, so we need to add more layers until we are at 500 turns in total. But before adding a second layer, we need to put some tape on the core. I used Teflon tape and now we are ready to continue to wind our turns. We have the 500 turns of the secondary and now we need to wind another two coils. One of 48 turns for the primary and another of 10 turns for the feedback coils. These two coils will be with wire size 30 AWG. The transformer is finished. We have the primary coil with 500 turns the primary coil 
with 48 turns and the feedback coil with 10 turns. Ok, let's now see the circuit in action. I have connected the secondary of the transformer to this fluorescent tube from an old lamp that went burnt. Normally these lamps fail because of the electronics but the tubes are usually still good. I'm going to turn on the power supply. So there you have it. We have a current of a little more than 500 milliamps at 12 volts. So that is roughly 6 watts of power. The polarity of the feedback coil is important. If you build the circuit and the lamp does not turn on, just swap the two wires of the feedback coil and that should solve the problem. One advantage of this inverter is that the output of the transformer is AC, so we can connect a voltage multiplier to the output to increase the voltage even more. This is a Villar cascade voltage multiplier. And the voltage output in this setup is about 3000 volts in case you need that voltage for some project. So let me turn on the power supply. Ok, that's all for today. I hope you liked this circuit and find it useful. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next video. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. Thank <laughs> you.